welcome to our weekly garden check-in. My name is Kelsey, children's educator here at Lewis Ginter Botanical Garden, and this week we're checking in about frogs and tadpoles on the woodland walk. All along the woodland walk, there is a water feature that feeds a series of ponds, which are the perfect habitat for frogs to reproduce. The female frog lays her eggs in the pond and outhatch tadpoles, which are the larval stage of frogs. Tadpoles begin their life in the water with a long tail that helps them to swim around. They're also herbivorous, which means that they eat plants um, and primarily algae. This is important because tadpoles can help to control algae populations in ponds. The tadpole goes through many changes in its metamorphosis into a frog. Its tail that helps them to swim in the water becomes reabsorbed into their body. The tadpole begins to develop lungs to help it transition from a life in the pond to a life on land. The tadpole begins to eat uh, different foods, so it becomes omnivorous, meaning that it will eat a mixture of plants and animals. And once the tadpole fully matures into a frog or an adult, its diet is carnivorous, meaning that it eats insects, which helps to control the mosquitoes and the insect population in the environment. The presence of frogs and tadpoles in a pond can help control the algae and the mosquitoes. And it also can let us know that the water body is healthy. Frogs and other amphibians are environmental indicators, which means that they let us know when there is an environmental problem. Their skin is permeable to pollutants and very sensitive. So if we're studying a water body and notice that frogs and tadpoles are disappearing, we uh, can know that there's a problem. For this reason, amphibians are the most endangered vertebrate wildlife group on earth. Things that you can do to help frogs and amphibians in your yard. Plant native plants. Native plants attract bugs, which are the food of amphibians and frogs. Don't use pesticides, which end up in the water bodies and hurt wildlife. Build a pond. Densely plant your garden beds with native plants, which can act as shelter and protection for animals to escape predators. And all of these things are important and can help frogs in your yard. But the most important thing is to learn about wetlands and how you can preserve and protect the natural wetland habitat of frogs and other amphibians. I hope you guys come to the Woodland Walk and check out all the frogs and tadpoles that are living here right now. And I hope you have a great week. Thanks for checking in.